Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, episode 2 of season 2. Um, this game is amazing, and uh, I think we just need to get straight into it. Um, although I will say, the reason I haven't uploaded anything in a little while is because I've literally been trying to sort out a lot of things to make it so that I can record more often and record lots of things and newer things. Um, so hopefully, in the coming like, months, weeks, whatever, um, that will be apparent and easier to do, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out! Grab her! Let's go! Like, I'm really sorry. The walking dead is bad. Does someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Exactly. I don't know what I'd do if I was Carver, because I'm not Carver. You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! Safety. That was really like morality. Like he <sighs> wanted to save her against Salad. Nick! Hold on! Nick! God damn it! Nick! You should be safer with me. And he's fine. We have to go! Although he's a little bit brash, you'd be safer because of the gun. So I'm waiting for this episode. It's one of those things you're really like excited for, but because it's Telltale, you're like, oh, I'll let them off. Take another one. Because <laughs> it'll be good. You know it'll be good. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. Yeah, that's not good. What you gonna do about your ankle, bro? What are you looking at? Your bite. Yeah, that's stupid. Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my Piggly Wigglies, of course. <laughs> Piggly Wigglies. <laughs> gonna do it. I don't know if I can just do that to myself. Ugh, bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? That's true. Hell. Just, just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. 
Okay, so one, uh, I just ordered a pizza. That's what I was going to do. And uh, and two, I just realized I wasn't wearing my headphones the whole time. <laughs> um, We're back. Everything's good. Let's go. <coughs> Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep oh, looking damn. around. I gave it to that guy. And now I don't have any for pee. Knew that common woman. Typical. What's in here? It's a destroyed radio. Why do I need to look at that? The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. Okay, we'll do that in a minute, but I want to look around for first. Look at Pete. Oh, Nick. That stupid kid. He should be okay. He should be alive. I mean, he didn't, um... He didn't get eaten. We didn't see him get eaten. And he ran away. I think he's still got bullets in his gun. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. You shouldn't. Why? <laughs> they gonna kill me? <sighs> Give me those. Okay. Got a light? Shut up. I do actually have a light. That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? I told you. We wait. Oh, but I didn't try the car keys. I'm guessing they didn't work. <laughs> if you did try them. I thought they were gonna work. That's why I waited. I was like, I'll do that last, because... Mistakes were made. Wait, Peter's on there, because that sounds... <laughs> this is like a bit with Rick in the TV show. Spoilers. <laughs> My bad. I know you're supposed to say spoilers after. <laughs> I mean, before. After. But I said it. Let's just prepare ourselves, just in case he tries to us. We can't uh, bang around. Uh, got the saw. Uh, we need. Uh, 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 He's alive. <laughs> He's just not doing so hot. Oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus, stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <laughs> really? <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. I didn't think that when I said it. I was like... Mm. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? Still out there. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time.
You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? No. To say goodbye to Nick. <sighs> All right. I'll try. Good night. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's, abandon you. Let's get this over with. Lee wouldn't abandon you. Crying over oh. So saving him did nothing, apart from giving me that little scene, which was quite a good scene. I wonder what it's like with Nick. I have to replay it. Or well, watch someone else back. <laughs> I doubt Nick died actually, if you save him, because like, he wasn't bitten or anything. Probably alive either way, I guess. And Pete probably dies either way. I think she'd find her way back there. <laughs> they can be pissed. Clementine, are you alright? Because I'm here and they're not. Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... Oh my God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Get the guns. <laughs> Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. I love Luke. My favorite character in Alvin New York. Clementine, can you... Can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. I'll look after her. I didn't say I won't tell her anything. You said not tell her anything, but I just said I'll look after her. Because I won't. She needs to know the shit that's going on. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. What the hell are you doing? It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Um, sure. Shouldn't scare people like that though. I could Get me in a good pose, okay? I'll hit you in the face with a hacksaw or something. Okay. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? That was actually a good fight. You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? Yes, he did. He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? You probably have a mental breakdown or something. Clem? Pete's dead. She's gonna have a mental breakdown or something. I guess it's gonna be my fault. Well, she needs to understand the world she's living in. I, I don't know. Sorry, I, I I just need to. I really can't understand hiding everything from her, hiding her and hiding her away from everything. Give her a hug or something, Clementine. You want to see what I found? Oh, you got over that pretty quick. <laughs> she's like, oh well, want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that Is mean? Somebody? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, 
Take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <laughs> <laughs> what should I shoot? Don't do that. S -s -s sorry, sorry. She's not having fun this time. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back. Is he? No, I saw the trailer. That's not Luke. That is not Luke. I think. I think that's Carver. I like how they kind of make it look a little bit like Luke, so you're not, so that you're like, hmm. But you gave us that trailer to have at the end of episode one, and we know it's not Luke. It's goddamn car. Okay, I'm just walking into the sofa. I can go around that way. I can go around this way. Why am I walking like this? Oh, there he is. Just crap. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. Shit. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Calm down. Shh. I'm gonna go open the door. I'm gonna kick his ass and then. <laughs> Hello. Oh shit! Hello there. What's the top one? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. What was the top one? Neighbor? That the door That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? My name is Get the Fuck Out of Here. What's your name? <laughs> my name is George, honey. He's got my name. Pleasure to meet you. I don't trust you. I, in fact, I know who you are, sir. You mind if I come in for a bit? No. What the fuck? Yes, I do mind. You get out of my house. Jesus. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Just passing through. Going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. The cold slows them down. Well, that's not worth the trade, in my opinion. For God's sake. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. He was never going to give it to me. One thing I will say for this is the transitions and everything is so much smoother than the first season and the first episode. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. It looks really, really good. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. 
I wonder if they did the bad thing or if he is really like well, that. well, White's in trouble. Real bad guy. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Is this is a creaky old house. Get the fuck out of my house! Seriously. <laughs> Punch him in the head if I have to. Even Kelly has got a gun. Nah, you have to stay the fuck away from Sarah and me. My dad told me to look after her. She's under the bed. <laughs> I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Uh, don't try and be my friend. Who's this? Oh shit. Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? There was no answer there to be like, I still don't know what you're talking about. So I thought your point seemed like that. Most likely. Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Son of a bitch. We need to leave. We need to leave as soon as we can. Where is he? He's gone. Ass. What if he comes back? Then I'll break his legs or something. I'm Clementine. I don't take no shit.